Hello, my dear learners. Welcome back to our TLE class. Before we start with our lesson, let us first review our lesson last week. You are going to name the tool or equipment. First, what is the name of this equipment? The correct answer is parts organizer. What is the name of this tool? The correct answer is long nose pliers. What is the name of this tool? It is called a multimeter. What is the name of these materials? These are called cable ties. What is the name of this tool? This is an anti-static wrist strap. Let us now compare the following. Watch closely and observe. Which among these two video clips shows the proper way of cleaning the keyboard? Is it the video number one on the left side wherein he uses water or the video on the right side? Very good! The video on the right side shows the proper way of cleaning the keyboard. Are the screwdrivers placed in the right boxes? Of course not, so we have to place them correctly. For the crosshead screwdriver, it should be placed here on the right side, and the flathead screwdriver should be placed on the left side. There you go. Based on the video clips in the pictures, we must use the proper tools or materials for a specific job. Our topic for today is using and maintaining hand tools. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to Number 1. Use tools according to tasks undertaken. Number 2. Observe all safety procedures in using tools at all times and use appropriate PPE or personal protective equipment. Number 3. Store tools safely in appropriate locations in accordance with manufacturer's specifications or standard operating procedures. Here are the personal protective equipment used in computer system servicing. Hard hats can protect employees from impact and penetration hazards from falling objects as well as from electrical shock when working near exposed electrical conductors that may contact the head. Goggles is used to protect the eyes from chemicals, dust or mist, flying objects, impact or explosion, and radiation. Face mask is used to protect the nose and mouth from viruses, dust, and chemicals. Gloves generally protect against dirt, chaffing, and abrasions. These gloves are used for protection against electrical hazards. Safety shoes are designed to protect the foot from physical hazards such as Falling objects, stepping on sharp objects, 
heat and cold, wet and slippery surfaces, or exposure to corrosive chemicals, and also from electrical hazards. Proper use of ESD tools. Wear the anti-static wrist strap with the metal touching your skin at all times. Attach the alligator clip to the grounding point. Place the anti-static mat on the workspace next to or under the computer case. Unplug the computer and attach the alligator clip on the metal chassis of the computer. Proper use of hand tools. Always use flathead screwdriver to tighten or loosen a slatted screw. Do not use a flathead screwdriver to remove a Phillips head screw. Never use a screwdriver as a punch, wedge, or a pry bar. To tighten the screw, turn the screwdriver clockwise and counterclockwise to loosen the screw. Always use the Phillips head screwdriver with cross head screws. Do not use this type of screwdriver to puncture anything and avoid touching the tip of the screwdriver because this will damage the tip of the screwdriver and its magnet. Use a hex driver to loosen and tighten bolts and nuts that have a hexagonal head. Hex bolts should not be over tightened because the threads of the bolts can be stripped. Always use appropriate size of hex driver to its specific bolt size. Use a part retriever to hold small objects and help place or retrieve objects that may be hard to reach with your fingers. You can also use needle nose pliers or tweezers to hold small objects or retrieve objects that may be hard to reach with your fingers. Proper use of cleaning materials and tools. Clean computer cases and the outside of monitors with lint-free cloth or soft cloth with a mild cleaning solution or water. If you want to create a cleaning solution, just mix one drop of dishwashing liquid with four ounces of water. If ever the internal parts of the computer was drip with water, make sure it is dry before booting the computer. Clean the contacts on components with isopropyl alcohol. Do not use rubbing alcohol because it contains impurities that can damage contacts. Then, use compressed air to remove lint from the cloth or cotton on the component before reinstallation. Turn the keyboard upside down and gently shake it to remove dirt and dust. Use a can of compressed air or handheld vacuum cleaner with brush attachment to clean between the keys. Moisten a cotton cloth with rubbing alcohol and use it to clean the top and bottom of the mouse. Do not spray glass cleaner directly on the mouse. If cleaning a mechanical mouse, you can remove tracking ball and clean it with soft cloth and glass cleaner or rubbing alcohol. Tools and equipment maintenance means testing, monitoring, fixing, and replacing elements of an equipment or tool. It is to prevent accident or damage on the tools, machine, and equipment. General requirements for tools and equipment maintenance include Number 1. Obtaining a copy of maintenance schedule recommended by the manufacturer or company. 
It includes the who, what, when, and where of tasks. Number two, ensuring that maintenance is performed as required. Ensuring that the person or persons performing the maintenance are competent, like a licensed technician. Retaining records of maintenance or service conducted. Specifying who is responsible for overseeing equipment maintenance and where the records are kept. Set up a system for removal and tagging of damaged or defective tools and equipment. Proper storage of tools, parts, and equipment. Computer parts and cables should be properly stored and labeled. Tools should be properly placed on the board or tool cabinet with label. Use bins or parts organizers for storing small parts. Require individual or individuals to be responsible for the maintenance of tools and parts. The following are the benefits of proper storage of tools, parts, and equipment. Number one, tools and parts are kept in good condition and are easy to find and use. Number two, reduce cost. It saves money and avoids the procurement of new tools or equipment. Number three, increase in productivity, time-bound performance. It avoids wasting time looking for the tools needed in the performance. And number four, make all staff or personnel to be responsible on their task or job. Class, we are done with our discussion. Let me check if you truly understand our lesson. Read and understand each statement carefully. Choose true if the statement is correct and choose false if it is wrong. Number 1. Use a flathead screwdriver to loosen a Phillips screw. The correct answer is false. Number 2. To loosen and tighten bolts with a hexagonal or six-sided head, use a hex driver. The correct answer is true. Number three, keeping computers clean inside and out is a vital part of a maintenance program. The correct answer is true. Number four, dirt can't cause problems with the physical operation of fans, buttons, and other mechanical components. The correct answer is false. Number five, damaged or defective equipment or tools should be tagged and removed from service. The correct answer is true. I have here another set of questions. Can you answer them? Let's try. Number one. Can we use other tools aside from the required tool in performing a specific task? For example, using flathead screwdriver to loosen or tighten a Phillips screw. The correct answer is no. We must use the correct screwdriver to loosen or tighten a specific screw. Number two. 
How do you ensure your safety while performing a task? Very good. To ensure safety while performing a task, we should wear PPE or personal protective equipment. Number three. What is the importance of doing regular tool or equipment maintenance? Correct! Doing regular tool or equipment maintenance prevents accident or damage on the tools, machine, and equipment. Number four. Why do you need to store tools or equipment in a labeled cabinet, drawer, or box? Terrific! Tools and parts are kept in good condition and are easy to find and use. Did you get the correct answers? Congratulations! That's all for today, class. Thanks for watching!